When it comes to decorations in Valheim, signs can do a lot of the heavy lifting, from creative labeling to custom furniture. But did you know they can also be used to create any picture you can imagine? In this tutorial, I'll show you how it works, five easy steps to create any image, and plenty of examples along the way. So whether you're a patron of the fine arts or a filthy heretic, let's make some pictures. But first, you're probably asking, is this vanilla or is this modern? And the answer is yes. The best thing about this is that it is 100% vanilla compatible, meaning every player can see these images with or without mods and you'll see why when I explain how it works. All of what we are about to do is possible in vanilla. However, we are going to use blueprints to make it better, faster, and easier. You can do this with either Infinity Hammer or Plan Build. I'll be showing you exactly how it works with Infinity Hammer. So don't worry if you've never used it before. This is going to be way easier than it looks, I promise you. So how on earth does this work? In vanilla, no less. Ever since a totally intentional update to signs let us use code in them, the floodgates have opened with creative possibility, changing size and color, shifting, using sprites and different characters. There's a lot you can do. So what if we made a square, colored it, made it small, added another square and did the same, a third with a new color, Keep on adding and we start building up a line of pixels. You see where this is going. But now you're thinking, whoa, that sounds ridiculous, Dakar. That would take forever. And you'd be right. Fortunately, the entire process has been streamlined. It takes five minutes to do, maybe less. So let's jump into our five steps. Step one, very easy. We want to find our image. It should be a JPEG or PNG especially if you want to do transparency. Name the picture something short and memorable, as we'll want to use this later. For step two, we need to resize our image. It can be portrait, landscape, or square with maximum dimensions of 480 by 480. This will determine the resolution of your image, but the size can be adjusted independently. I highly recommend starting with a smaller resolution like 200 by 200, and I'll explain why later. For well, step three, we're going to use this website linked in the pinned comment. Click here and choose our picture. Then we have a few options to decide on. Let's quickly talk about this one at the bottom, transparent color. I tried this with both the black and green and couldn't get it to work for me. So I suggest using a proper PNG transparency if that's something you want to go for. If you select do not shift vertically, signs will be across the middle of your picture. By default, the signs will be below the bottom. This is up to you and will depend on where you want to place it. But if using a transparent image, you will probably want them at the bottom. The support block is a one meter wood pole. that can help with placing them, but if you don't want it, you can check this box. Now the most important option, pixel size. This is how we can control how big our picture will be in game. But how do we know what to choose? Well, for starters, nine is way too big, trust me. Here I have a 400 by 100 and a 100 by 400 at a pixel size of one. You can see that each 100 pixel square is just a little less than four meters, which means it fits exactly inside a four meter wooden frame. So if say your image is 200 by 200, use a pixel size of 0.5 to also create an image of this size. You can see in these examples I've used a slightly larger size to give a bit of margin for error when placing them in frames. More on this later. We've chosen our options, everything is set, so hit conform upload and in a couple of seconds you'll download the blueprint file. Step 4, we're now going to place that downloaded file in our blueprints folder. If you're familiar with blueprints, just go ahead and do that. You're ready for step five now. If not, this next part is for you. I'll show you exactly how it works if you've never done it before. Once you've installed Infinity Hammer, go ahead and smush a few pieces together. It can be anything so long as it's more than one piece. Then open up the hammer menu and choose the building pipette. 
Click on your very beautiful structure and it's now copied onto your hammer. Press F5 to open up the console and type hammer underscore save base and then we'll call it first blueprint and hit enter. Now save your very first blueprint which will have generated the folder and can also help you find it by searching for the name you just chose. Alternatively, in Steam, right clicking on Valheim Manage, Browse Game Files, then FNX Config Plan Build. And we're gonna drop our downloaded blueprint in here. It can be handy to make a shortcut to this folder so we can quickly drop any other pictures or blueprints in here. Now, step five, the last step, placing it in game, which does have a small catch. Each of these pictures uses twice as many signs as its pixel width. So a 200 by 200 pixel image is 400 signs. Not many at all. But each one does contain a lot of information. If you use several high resolution images, you will see a drop in performance. However, the initial placement of these images is an extremely laggy procedure. I'm talking seconds per frame. Here's unedited footage of me placing a 400 by 300, which isn't even as bad as it can get. This is why I suggest starting with a smaller resolution image, 100 by 100 or 200 by 200, as they will be much less laggy during placing. With this in mind, I suggest placing the picture first and then building your frame around it, as lining it up on an existing frame can be tricky with the lag. So let's place our first picture. Get as close as you can to where you want it so that you won't have to move it too much. Then open the console and type hammer underscore blueprint and the name of your picture. As you start typing, you'll see it pop up underneath and you can hit tab to auto complete the name and press enter. Now very carefully move and rotate the picture into position. Place it, then right click and choose repair your hammer. Now that you've done it once, you'll be able to repeat those five steps very quickly. So to recap, find image, resize, convert to blueprint, the blueprint in folder, place it. Those are our five steps, but let's have a look at a few of the tricks you can use to take this even further. First, let's discuss some ways we can get around the whole placement debacle. As you can see, it's very laggy on the hammer. But as soon as I open up the build menu, the lag is gone. Progress, but now this is in the way. Well, we can open up the console and type HUD to disable it, allowing us to move around freely and see what we're doing. You can also use Infinity Hammer's nudge features to help you in positioning this. Unfortunately, we cannot place the picture in this mode. So once you have it aligned, right click to close the build menu and press F5 to open the console, then type hammer underscore place semicolon hammer underscore repair. This will place it and immediately select the repair option to clear your hammer. You can now also re-enable the HUD. You'll remember I said that the number of signs is twice the width of your picture. That means that a 100 by 100 is 200 signs, but a 100 by 400 is also 200 signs, making tall pictures very efficient. But if you want something floating up in the sky, you can use those 300 extra pixels of height to bump it up. Get creative, because hey, free real estate. But what if you're a wide boy? You want some of that thickness? Or you just want to show your undying faith in the god emperor of mankind? If you're using Gizmo or another rotation mod, you can make your wide image a tall one, then rotate it in game, making what would have been 800 signs for a 400 by 100 into 200 signs for a 100 by 400. And whilst we're here, you can use transparency to make all kinds of banners and insignia for your builds, show off your clan's emblem, or engage in some Ocean's Eleven style shenanigans. But why stop there? Commit property theft. Gaslight yourself. Or 
plot will dominate them and the halls of your mighty fortress. Let me know what pictures you'll be creating and placing in your world. And check out this video if you like a little bit of eldritch horror in your Viking survival. Until next time.